Hi everyone, welcome to TVLesson.com. My name is Grant and today I'm going to show you how to fold an origami crane. Okay, so first what we want to do is start off with our square piece of paper. Um, next, what we're going to do, um, just to make our folds easier, we're going to make some pre-folds here. So what you want to do is fold it uh, corner to corner. Make sure they're nice and creased. Okay. Let's take the other one, go corner to corner again. Just like so. Okay. Open it back up. Okay. So now we should have this with some nice folds in it. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. Open it back up, fold it in half again. Okay, so now we have that, all of our kind of pre folds laid out. Uh, next, what we want to do, um, this is the kind of the trickiest part. What we're going to do is we're going to take these corners and bring them in, like so. And then we're going to bring these corners together, like so. And with the pre-folds, it makes it pretty easy. If you try to do this without that, I mean, it's a little difficult. So you're going to do the same thing, just bring this in, fold it back in on itself, just like that. And now we should have a tiny little square. Okay. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the corners here with the bottom part open facing down, okay? And the closed part at the top, you want it at the top. We're going to take the corners and we're going to fold them in. These are going to be some more pre-folds here for the next step. And we're going to fold these into the center. Just like that. like that. Now we're going to flip it over. Do the exact same thing to the other side. Just like that. Okay. So now we should have this ice cream cone shaped looking thing here. No, it doesn't look like a crane yet, but get into that part. Okay, next we're going to open this back up. And now we're going to Next what we're going to do, we're going to do one more pre-fold for the next step. And we're going to fold the top down just like this. Okay? Just like that. And we're going to do it the same way on the other side. Like that. Just remember, these are just this is just a pre-fold. Okay, get a little crease going in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up one side, and we're going to fold it straight up, like so. Okay. Just like that. We're going to open it up. Just bring it down. like that. Pretty simple with those pre-folds. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, do the same thing with the other side, show you one more time. Open it up. Bring the bottom up. And fold it into itself. And there we go. Now we should have this double-sided diamond-looking thing. Okay. 
Uh, so next what we're going to do is we're going to make the head and the tail of the bird. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take the one side, we're going to fold it open just a little bit. We're going to bring it up. Going to again fold it into itself. Just like so. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Open it up. Fold it up into itself. So now should have a little pyramid triangle thing. Uh, so the next step. We're going to extend this out just a little bit, bring it out like so, and fold it down and crease it, just like that. Take the other side, fold it out, just like that. Now, let's go ahead and make the beak of the bird. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're just going to open it up like that. And you're going to fold it back in on itself, like we've been doing a lot in this video. Open it up like that. And there is your basic crane. Now we can actually even take this a step further and uh, make it a little more lifelike. Uh, what we can do is we can bend down the wings just a little bit. Give them a, round them out a little bit. Just give them a little mobility to them. And now, you can actually pull the tail. Of course, it doesn't work. That's fantastic. Stupid cray doesn't work. So now we fold down the wings, round them out a little bit. Now when we pull the tail, oh, it flaps its wings. Now you can just leave it like that if you'd like. You can open it up on the base a little bit so it has a little something to stand on. Um, one more thing you can do is you can actually uh, give it a little body to it. And right here on the bottom of it, there's going to be a little hole go ahead and uh, blow some air into there. Stupid things, how are you? Oh, whatever, I'm over it. Over the stupid thing. Flap, damn you, flap. Piece of shit.